Is a Joker sequel in the works? Maybe if Joaquin Phoenix gets his way. It is not a joke to say that Joker is the most successful rated R film of all time. And with the film inching closer and closer to the coveted $1 billion mark, ideas are swirling on how to keep this cash train rolling. While the movie itself was set to be a standalone film not tied into the greater DC film universe canon, fans were obviously very excited to visit this version of Gotham City. And you can probably bet Warner Brothers is itching to get director Todd Phillips and star Joaquin Phoenix on the phone and see if they might be interested in the sequel. Luckily, they may not need to, because it's not just fans. It seems that Joaquin himself may want to see even more of Arthur Fleck on the big screen. Kinda. In an interview with the LA Times, Phoenix said, Long before the release or before we had any idea if it would be successful, we talked about sequels. In the second or third week of shooting, I was like, Todd, can you start working on a sequel? There's way too much to explore. It was kind of in jest, but not really. Even if he was joking, not joking, Phoenix did admit that he played out his desire for sequels during the production of the film. It's no secret that Joker owes much of its look and feel to iconic Martin Scorsese films of the 70s and 80s. It wears the king of comedy and taxi driver on its sleeve like a badge of honor. And in regards to this and Joker as a character, Phoenix revealed, I basically said, you could take this character and put him in any movie. So I did a photo shoot with the on-set photographer and we made posters where I photoshopped Joker into 10 classic movies. Rosemary's Baby, Raging Bull, Yentl. If you see it, you're like, yeah, I'd watch that movie. Yentl with Joker, that would be amazing. He even showed some of these posters to director Todd Phillips, who said, I definitely remember the Yentl one. Another one was Forrest Gump. The Hangover was even one of them. Even we have to admit, if Phillips were to return to his Hangover trilogy with a new one starring the Joker, it would certainly be an interesting experiment. You can say that again, pal. <laughs> While Phillips doesn't close the door on a sequel, he admits he isn't going to do one without reason. We haven't talked about it a ton. We've only talked about the fact that if we ever did one, and I'm not saying we are because right now we're not, it couldn't just be this wild and crazy movie about the clown prince of crime. That just doesn't interest us. It would have to have something resonance in a similar way that this does. Now, even though Joaquin Phoenix seems to be the person who wants the sequel the most, he also said that what drew him to the role in the first place was the fact that he wouldn't have to paint his face again after the movie was done. He told the LA Times, part of the whole attraction to me of Joker was there was no expectation. I didn't sign a deal to do more movies. It was a one-off. He went on to say, I wouldn't just do a sequel just because the first movie is successful. That's ridiculous. So could this all happen? Well, it is worth noting that the most unreliable narrator in all of this isn't the actual Joker, but Joaquin Phoenix himself. He's definitely done his share of trolling throughout the years, as recently seen in the Jimmy Kimmel bit where he pretended to have an onset freakout during the production of Joker and the footage leaked. Plus, you know, the whole bullshit. I'm Still Here documentary where he became a rapper. But if we had to wager, it does appear that Phoenix is very passionate about the role of the Joker, a.k.a. Arthur Fleck. And while he would want to do a sequel, he and director Todd Phillips will only undertake one if there is the right reason for it and not the one billion other reasons. But what do you folks think? Do you think we could get a sequel to Joker? Or should we just get more standalone comic book movies? And which classic film would you want to see the Joker star in? Back to the Future? The 40-Year-Old Virgin? The Dark Knight? No, no, no. Let's discuss. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, why not give us a like and subscribe? If you want to get notified every time we go live with a show or drop a new video, feel free to mash that little bell so you can be up to date on all the latest theories, news, and rumors in the pop culture world.